Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy right here. This is the Tatara Masamune Racer. I am sure I've mispronounced that, my deepest apologies. But first off, before I go any further, I want to thank Tatara Razors for sending one of these guys along. Um, they reached out to me, said, hey Nick, we've seen you've reviewed some uh, uh, double-edged safety razors before on your channel. Would you be interested in checking ours out? Took a look at it, looked at the machining, and was like, uh, yes, yes I would. I do love me some good machining. Nonetheless, I told them as always, I sent them my disclaimer on the website, told them as always. I'm going to talk about the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly. And it might be a gem, it might be junk. They did still send it along, but we do have to assume this is the very best quality controlled one of these guys ever. And I'm doing my absolute best to uh, not let this affect the nature and the quality of my review. Next thing, um, this guy is, let's do some size comparison real quick. I mean, here it is against a, a good old-fashioned feather blade. Uh, I mean, what we're going to see here is it, it, here it is against a, a Mercur uh, slant bar razor. This is a, a reasonably sized razor here. If I uh, measure this guy up, I don't have a blade in it the moment just for safety's sake frankly but we're, we're, we got a handle that's coming in here just around eight and a half centimeters or so a little bit more than three and a quarter inches here the, the, this head is sized for a standard razor blade and the thickness of it is again standard razor blade there's not really that much to say about size for this guy um but there is that next thing who the heck is tatara razors well tatara is a company that as near as i can tell is a couple of machinists and engineers over in portugal um they, they, they decided to get together and they're using cnc machining to create these really excellent and beautiful razors out there in the world and so that's kind of cool right it's a very small brand but they're doing really cool stuff, and they seem to be super passionate, especially in talking with them about making raises. And so that's a beautiful thing. And so um, there you go, and then I'll just show you real quick how you put the guy together. You just take a razor blade, in this case a feather high stainless, my very favorite kind of blade. You drop it on there so everything aligns. Then you take this little guy, you drop it on there. Then you take this little guy here, and you screw it into the top here. And you can do this in a variety of ways here. But then once you've done all that, everything locks down. We can see that the blade is very, very well supported to either side here. And the blade sticks out in the middle there, and that allows you to then get in there and do some actual shaving. So that's how this guy works. And the blade sticks out just a little tiny bit past there. So anyways, let's go on ahead and jump into the good and the not so good of this very interesting razor right here. So on the good side, um, to start with, this is made of solid metal, right? This is a single chunk of 303 stainless, well, technically it's three chunks of 303 stainless steel, right? Um, and it is very, very solid indeed. As near as I can tell, the handle is completely solid past a certain point. Um, and it just, it feels very, very good, right? It feels very substantial. The whole razor feels very secure, and the fact that everything is being gripped very well, I mean, as we look in there at the razor in here, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like with the other, uh, the, the other base plate on here. Being careful here, because I really would rather not cut myself with a razor blade on, uh, <laughs> on camera here. But anyways, um, but what we're going to see here is that when you kind of crank everything down, everything is being very well supported. The blade is well supported. That means there's very little chatter. There's very little. It, it just feels like a very solid sort of experience. And so I got to say, I appreciate that. That is very nice. Next thing, this guy came uh, in a actually very nice box. Um, it came in this little box here where everything is done uh, with this big cork cut out here. And then they've got in this little side area here a number of feather blades, uh, which is actually very nice. Those are are, uh, you can tell that these folks like their shaves aggressive. That's for damn sure, but it just kind of came nestled in like that. And that's a beautiful thing with the uh, extra blades and this guy sitting in the side there. It's nice. It's good packaging. Is that important? No, not particularly, but at the same time, it's nice. And the fact that they include blades with it um, is kind of necessary at this price point, but it is good to see. Next thing, the handle on this guy is nice. It's a good intermediate length. It's not quite as short as some of the, the, the Mercar uh, short sort of things, but it's also not quite so long either, right? Um, I found that this was a very nice middle ground here. I didn't find myself wanting for more handle, nor did I find myself wanting less. It was right, right in the middle there, and it gives you a very nice solid grip. Although this this looks very smooth. Um, all of these little micro dots here, I'll kind of show you. Um, each one of these does add a little bit of texture to it. And as a result, I feel like I've got surprisingly good gription on this, even though it's not knurled in the classical sense. Um, in fact, you can see it is machined and it is very precisely machined. It's pretty well done there. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. So it is a very nice handle there. And actually, just generally speaking, the machining on this is quite good. I'll zoom in and I'll show you that a little bit more. Um, and I've tried to clean the razor up kind of as best as I can, uh, but I have actually been using it to shave, so you might see little bits of hard water and such. But you can see little details here, like the engraving of their company logo on there, which is nice. 
uh, see here, that's what it's looking like on the package, um, as well as their, their company name on there. You can see with the, uh, the each one of these things is well done. Um, you can see that they have blasted all the surfaces here. I mean, it looks very much like a very light blast to me, uh, uh, so that's a beautiful thing. Um, it has the dimples, which will, of course, speed it up at high speeds. Um, I don't know why otherwise, but it does offer nice grip. And honestly, just overall, as a person who is a fan of quality machining, this strikes me as quality machining. They've gone some extra miles here. Um, one thing that is actually very nice to see, uh, and it's a little tiny detail, but take a look at this. At the very top of the, uh, of the handle here, there is a collar, and that collar fits exactly into this little space down here. And even without that screw on there, this is actually quite secure. This is very, very nice machining work, right? Um, the tolerances here are quite tight. I, I do appreciate that. As somebody coming from the world of pocket knives, where machining quality is, uh, shall we say, important, um, this still strikes me as machining quality. And I'm actually gonna leave out the blade here just for safety's sake uh, for the remainder of the review, but you can see kind of what's in there there. So there's that. Next thing, um, obviously it shaves well, right? Uh, we wouldn't be having this discussion if it didn't shave well. This is a very, very nice razor for actually shaving. Um, it works very well. It is a very aggressive shave, particularly with the uh, open comb on there, but it does shave quite well. It is one of the nicer razors I've used, and I, I had no complaints with it there. And then finally, on the good side, and probably the best part about this actually are the options. So um, I ordered it with both uh, plates here. With the uh, closed comb, which is this guy over here, and with the open comb, which is predictably this guy over here. So the open comb has a much larger blade gap, much larger. I mean, it's like millimeter, a fraction of a millimeter, but still, it's a larger blade gap, and it makes this guy more aggressive, and actually markedly more so. This is a very aggressive razor with the open uh, uh, comb installed on there. Or you can go to the closed comb, which is much more subdued, right? Um, there's a smaller gap in there. Um, it's still very good at not trapping stubble and things like that. I did appreciate that, especially relative to the ones that are using multiple... Uh, uh, like kind of hole, 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 where the stubble can very easily get trapped in there. This washes out very, very easily. Um, so the closed comb is there, but it's it, you definitely do feel a difference there. It's not just a question of like open versus closed. This is a lot more aggressive than this guy is. So do keep that in mind. You can buy uh, later on. Let's say you buy it with the closed comb, and then later on you decide I want a little more aggression in my life, and you want to open the close or I uh, want to order the open one. Then you can. You can send them fifty five bucks, and they'll send you a new one. They also have a new version or a different version that has a longer handle as well as even more aggressive head and comb to it um and you can interchange the parts for all of those so if you just wanted to try the head but you like the shorter handle you can do that they even have a customizer on their website where you can choose the parts you want i really like that and it makes it something a lot more sort of palatable to buy a really high-end razor when you can swap things around and customize it to your liking and i appreciate that they're very open about you know the exact dimensions the exact levels of the aggressive so to speak, that you're going to get from, and by the way, when, when I say aggressive, I mean it is going to cut very readily. Um, it's going to cut much more readily into thicker hairs and things like that, but it is also going to be a little bit more dangerous to use if you're not careful. It's more likely to cut and skin off parts of skin. So I really do like very much the fact that you have the option to basically dial it in a little bit. If you want something less aggressive, go closed comb. A little more so, you can go the open comb. If you want it really just crazy like this razor is trying to kill you, but it'll also settle for hairs, then you could probably go with that even more aggressive version. But I like the interchangeability here. That's a beautiful thing. And to me, all of that is the good. So you have different options of open plates. And by the way, this is not rust on the unit itself. This is just rust from the blade that was in there. I want to be very clear about that. That clean off of the scotch bright in about half a second. So anyways, um, you get the different options for the uh, the plate there. You get a nice aggressive shave uh, with it. You get beautiful machining. I like the handle very much. Packaging was good and it came with good feather blades. Um, it has a very substantial feeling to it. And it is solid metal. On the bad side, to start with, um, one thing I got to say is that this is a little bit on the slowest side to untwist. There were a lot of threads here. I'll put it back together here one more time. Everything snapped in there and you got to make sure everything aligns at the end there. But going from fully twisted to fully untwisted is 
a good bit of time, right? Is it the end of the world? No, but especially if you're a person who often will uh, sort of slightly untwist to make sure to get everything cleaned out in the middle there, this wasn't necessarily as ideal because these guys kind of want to separate out a little bit, right? Um, the, 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 the top of the razor, compared to something where, for instance, the posts go all the way through with a fair amount of depth, you really need to work to get everything aligned with this guy. And remember, you got a razor blade in play. So if you're somebody who likes to regularly partially untwist to clean things out, this is going to be less satisfying there. Next thing, this is not adjustable at all without uh, changing parts, right? You can change the parts around, which is more than a lot of people offer. Um, and they do have the Muramasa uh, razor, which is adjustable, but it's also 410 bucks. Be curious about it, but that's a good chunk of change, right? So um, this is definitely going to be something where you, you buy it and it works like it does. That also has advantages, right? It's always exactly what you want. If you get it right, and you get the right parts, but still. Next thing, the open comb plate. This guy is freaking mean. This is very aggressive. Um, you know, I am a person who can shave with a straight razor, and, but I usually shave with a double edge, right? By the way, if you're not shaving with a double edge, you're missing out. It's just the way to do things, right? But this is a, a razor that required very, very active attention, right? Um, it's sort of like straight razor shaving, but at an angle. It is a very, very aggressive thing. And in fact, I, not being careful enough, I've cut myself worse with this razor than I have with any I've used in years because it is pretty aggressive here. Switching to the coat, and by the way, that was on me. I'm not blaming the razor for it, but it's just you need to be careful. This is aggressive. There is a little less safety in this safety razor than in this one, than in a lot the ones you're dealing with on a regular basis here. Switching to the closed comb was definitely made for a more laid-back experience, although given with a slightly less close shave, um, but the, 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 it is definitely, the, the, the open comb is aggressive. So unless you are looking for something really aggro, uh, relative to a lot of stuff, this, <laughs> you might go closed, right? That's going to be my recommendation. And then finally on the bad side, this is very pricey. Um, it's 170 bucks, um, and that's with one of the two combs, right? So you could go this route or this route, um, but you, you don't get both. Um, if you want both, you pay 230 and they, they do have a very nice looking base. Um, I didn't get one of those guys, but it, it looks great. Didn't have it, whatever. And you can get a PVD black, um, the phased vapor vep deposition, I believe, black version for 185 And you can buy a new comb plate after the fact for 55 bucks. It's kind of impressive that this is a, 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 about the same price as, <laughs> it's more, about half of the price. Well, not quite. I, math is hard. Look, it's expensive. It's freaking expensive. But at the same time, this is also a very intricate part. I kind of get it, right? Um, but anyways, this is pretty far up the curve of diminishing returns. It's a lot of money for a razor. And it's around the same price as the Feather ASD2, which is a much more laid back razor. I'm going to be real with you here, but oh boy, um, this is a pricey one. So to me, all that's the bad is that it is very expensive. Um, the open comb plate is a little too aggressive for my taste, at least, but again, you might like it. Um, it's not adjustable uh, beyond switching out parts, and it is slow to untwist, um, with you having to do a lot of manual alignment to make sure that this part is aligned with this part here. On the final conclusion front, I mean, A, like I said, use a safety razor. If you're watching this and you're like, Nick, why would you do this for shaving? do this. It, it, not necessarily even this one. Do a safety razor. It is just the better way to shave. Period. Case closed. It's cheaper. It's better. It's, it, 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 there is no reason to buy a Mach 18 in a world where these things can exist for much better prices. So anyways, uh, but that, 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 that's one part of conclusion. Uh, about this guy specifically, this is nice. This is a very nice razor. Um, it's got all metal construction. It's very substantial feeling with nice packaging, a good handle, great machining, a great shave, and a lot of options that let you really tweak the feeling of the shave as well as some of the other elements of it um, while retaining all of the really nice machining, etc. on that. It's not super quick to switch blades or switch out rubber, or, uh, rinse out stub and stubble, so to speak. There's no adjustment without switching parts. The open comb version is <laughs> kind of mean, and it is very pricey, both in the ra base razor and the accessories. Final conclusion here, I'm going to be honest, is a little tough because it's good. It's real good. And particularly if you are a person who is seeking out raw, unbridled aggression in your razor, right? This guy, uh, this guy, to be fair, is not much more aggressive than like the, the feather, right? But this guy, oh my God. <laughs> and I don't mean like walking into a biker bar with a leather is, uh, leather is murder sign seeking out aggression, but just like if you are a person with very, very thick hair and you often struggle with razors not being able to do the job well, 
then something like this might be the kind of, that might be the play, right? If you want yourself having more gaps, more control, and more cutting power with less margin of safety, then this could be something worth considering, right? <laughs> As is a regular straight razor, but if you want a middle ground, these are very, very nice. You are also, though, paying a bunch of money, and the curve of diminishing returns is worth contemplating here. Much like I said with the Feather, this is uh, one of the nicer rather, uh, razors I've used. It's beautifully made. It's all steel. It's, it's really nice, and it gives you a great shave. Particularly the closed bar version of this does give a really, really nice shave. But the fact remains that since finishing the review, uh, well, at least finishing the, using this for a while, I switched over to this guy for my next review. This is a Mercur uh, $60 slant bar razor. The construction of this is much, much less nice, right? There, there, there is no discussion of the machining on it. This is just better done. It's a beautiful thing. It's got better support, everything like that. This is a better razor in a lot of ways. But the thing is, it's about half the price, and it's you're getting maybe 90% of the shave quality. And that's pretty compelling, right? There is a lot to be said for this guy if you want it to be super aggro or if you want to swap parts around, but this is just way more than the cost of admission for a great shave. And so it's important to remember that fact, to remember that if you if you buy this, you are buying well, you're going way up that curve of diminishing returns. You can shave a lot of money uh, if you're willing to sacrifice that last 10% or so. So I guess final conclusion, if you want a beautiful object, this is that. This is a beautiful object. And if you want that object to give you a great shave, <laughs> this will do that too. And you'll have the choices to go as aggressive or as laid back as you'd like. And if you're willing to pay that price, then you might consider paying massive money for one of these guys. Get it? Because it's Masamune Razor. Huh? It's not Tatari out of line. Get it? Tatara? No. Okay. Anyways, hope this has been interesting to you and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of the day. And sorry, I didn't shave the best pun for last. Bye now.